Hello, my name is Wanner Chen. I am a teen advisor for NSLC. Last time we first introduced the students what the barriers of cross-cultural communication is. And then we had them play two games. One of the game is a game of charades to show them how, how difficult it is to not use verbal language to express how you feel and the frustration it is to guess the word. And the other one is to have them tell a story with randomized words put in the middle to show them how hard it is to not be able to have a plan and how difficult it is to keep the story flowing within the group. Especially for international business, you are working very closely with other countries, so cross-cultural communication teaches you how to be sensitive and understanding to other cultures. I'm Christopher, I'm from Philippines. So I acted as an impromptu actor in the cross-culture communication simulation. Like we had no idea as to what we were supposed to do, but when we actually got the letters or the secret messages or words that we had to act out, it was really fun because it tested out how spontaneous we could be. Yeah, it was so much fun. Actually, it's not about getting used to it. It's like under being able to understand and seeing the beauty in all of the other cultures just like your own. Some people have that as their culture. I mean, there, there has to be something enjoyable about it, right? Just like your own culture. So just learn how to accept and don't reject. Just be open. My name is Romnick and I'm from Aurora, Illinois. I was one of the guessers, I guess you'd call it, and um, my partner was to act out and I was to guess out what occupation he was doing. And especially going to the last person, like everybody's just looking at me and Hamad's laughing. I was really worried. I had no idea what was happening. We couldn't speak, so our language was definitely out. So we had to you know, use our actions to describe um, an occupation with somebody else. I feel like if somebody asks me a question, like in English, and I can't respond in their like mother tongue. I'll try my best to act it out or point it out or even like pull it up on Google and show it to them. I was interested in this business program because it was all the way in Singapore and I felt like it was a good option or a good chance to let me go out of the country by myself, explore, just let me be independent. I would definitely recommend this program to friends and family and other students and I told them how much fun I'd had here at NSLC and hopefully they could do it also.